Hey guys, it's Sarah from ExtremeTerrain.com and today we have a review and install of the Barricade Roof Rack in Textured Black, fitting your 07 through 18 four-door Jeep Wrangler JK, but is also available for the two-door options. This roof rack provides your Jeep with extra cargo space and has a weight capacity of 350 pounds, plus it has removable crossbars for complete customization. Coming in at around $450, this roof rack is towards the lower end price-wise, but if you're just looking to add some extra storage to your Jeep without breaking the bank, this will get the job done. I'm giving this install a two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. It can be done in approximately two hours and does feature a direct bolt of installation. However, there is quite a bit of adjustability to get all the bars lined up, so I would grab a friend for this one. The front and rear bars also have tabs for the addition of lighting and are interchangeable to accommodate most lighting options. All right, with that said, let's jump right into our install. For this install, we used an impact gun, ratchet, 18, 16, and 13 millimeter sockets, a swivel, a small extension, razor knife, T40 Torx, five millimeter Allen key, the included Allen key, and a 13 millimeter wrench. So the first step in our install, we're going to remove the four bolts holding the side of the windshield in using a T40 Torx. Repeat that process on the other side. So before we can bolt up the pieces that go to our windshield, we do want to put these foam strips on them so it doesn't damage the paint. Peel back on the adhesive and stick it to the back of the plates that will bolt against your Jeep. So you will need to trim this down in order to fit and not stick out past this bracket. So flip this over. Grab a razor knife and trim the edge here as well as into both of the bolt holes so you can get the bolts through. Repeat that process with the rest of these brackets. This one you'll have to trim a little bit farther back this way as well because it does only mount to the body on this small plane. Using a straight edge or another piece of metal, don't forget to cut out your bolt holes. Repeat that step for your other bar. Now we can install these onto the Jeep using the factory hardware. Grab your T40 Torx socket and tighten these down. So 
So before we can install our passenger side windshield bar, we do need to install this crossbar. They recommend putting a towel in place just so you don't scratch your windshield or your paint while you're doing this. Now we can install our passenger side windshield bar, first putting it on the crossbar. Now you can reinstall the factory hardware. So before we tighten down the hardware on our passenger side window bar, we do want to make sure that our Allen key hardware goes through these holes holding on your cross member. You may need to turn the bar a little bit to line it up, but once you do, install your washer and lock nut. Grab a five millimeter Allen key and a 13 millimeter wrench and tighten this down. Grab your Allen head hardware and install it on the other side. Grab your five millimeter Allen key and 13 millimeter wrench and tighten this down. With our crossbar bolted in place, we can now tighten down our passenger side windshield bar. All right, so when it comes to the back of your Jeep, you do have two options. If you have an aftermarket bumper like we do, it's very simple, you just pick this larger bracket and it bolts right to the side of your frame. Now, if you'd like to keep your factory bumper, you have two options. You can choose this bracket, which mounts to your body, but it does require drilling into the side of your Jeep, or you can choose to use this mounting position to your frame, but it does require cutting into your factory bumper. But we have an aftermarket bumper on our Jeep, so we're gonna go ahead and get this mounted. Using your 18 millimeter socket, remove these two bolts holding on your bumper. All right, so if you have an aftermarket bumper that's on the outside of the frame here, you will need to use a spacer, but it's nice that they include that. Ours is on the outside, so let's put the spacer in position. And get your hardware installed. Install the provided hardware into the mount on the bumper. Once these bolts are in, grab an 18 millimeter socket and tighten them down. You may also want an extension or a swivel extension for here. Now you can tighten down the front two bolts with a 16 millimeter socket. Repeat those steps on the other side. Grab your plate, line it up with your bolt holes, and then line up our bracket. Grab the included hardware and thread it into the holes for the bumper. Grab your 18 millimeter socket and tighten these down. Grab a 16 millimeter socket and tighten these down. At this point, we can set our Y bar in place onto the brackets that we just mounted and then get our crossbars installed. Grab your crossbar and install it into the front section. So this long bar is quite a tight fit. If for some reason it doesn't slide in nicely with just the play on this Y bar, you can loosen up the bolts at your frame and windshield just a little bit to give it that little extra play so it slides into place. But with that said, let's hop over to our passenger side and our rear bar. If 
Finally, we can install the rear bar. Once it's in place, grab your hardware. Once your hardware is installed, grab a five millimeter Allen key and a 13 millimeter wrench and tighten it down. Repeat that process with the rest of the hardware for the rest of our roof rack. With all of our bolts installed in the body of the roof rack, we can now install these crossbars. Line them up to each hole on each side of the roof rack. Grab the long Allen hardware and the knob and tighten it down. Use the included Allen key to hold the bolt head down while you turn the knob up top. Repeat that process with the rest of the crossbars. Now you can repeat that process with the other side of the bars. So now if you'd like, you can add these rubber caps to the top of your knob. And if you're not gonna add a light bar right away, you also may wanna cap off the front of this bar. But that is gonna do it for the review and install of this roof rack. Remember, for all things Jeep, keep it at extremeterrain.com.